In this section of the course, we're going to learn how to create forms. We're going to create a form for the product table and a form for the suppliers table. We'll start with the product table and we're going to create something that looks a bit like this. Okay, let's close this down and let's get started. To create a form, go to the Create tab on your ribbon and then go to Form Design. The first thing I'll do is save the form. So I'll go up to my Save button, top left, and we'll call this Form Products. A form is split up into sections. At the moment, we're viewing the detail section. But what you can also do, if you right click on your form, is view the form header and footer sections. So if I click on that, you'll see I've got an area for the form header. I've got the detail section, and then I've got an area for the form footer. So the header and the footer are sections of the form where you'll place content that is static. It remains the same as you navigate through the different records in your table. In the header, I might put the logo of the company, and in the footer, I might put the date or something. In the detail section, you're going to put the fields that will show the data in the underlying table. And as you navigate between the records, the information in the detail part of the form will change. You will also notice if you right click, you have the option to show page header and footer. Content that you put in the page header and footer will only appear when you come to print out your form. It's not that common that you're going to print out a form. You're more likely to print out a report. So we're not going to focus on the page header and footer. Rather, we're going to focus on the form header and footer. So I'll just close that page header and footer down. The next part of this lesson is to learn how to add fields to the form. So you'll see on the design tab of your ribbon, you have a button in the tools group called add existing fields. If you click on that, you'll get a task pane on the right of your screen called field list. Now, if I click on show all tables, it then displays the two tables I have in my database. So in this field list, you can expand the particular table that you want to add fields from, and then you can drag them from the field list into the detail section of your form. Don't worry too much about where you're positioning these fields at this current stage in the course, because in later lessons, we'll learn how to align them and distribute them in really easy and quick ways. So just get them onto the form for now, and then save what you've done. And then once you've done that, we'll continue with the course and I'll see you in the next lesson.